All right, guys, so as you can probably hear, I'm a little bit sick today. I caught a little bit of a cold. <coughs> okay, bedtime. But I really want to keep on uploading every single night for you guys. What? So let's go and let's get straight into this video. So today I'm going to be showing you my real Adopt Me routine. But before we get started guys, if you're new here, let's do the 3 second sub challenge. But if you're already part of Pretzel Army, you guys can do the 3 second like challenge. And don't forget that if you do this within 3 seconds, to comment down below mega fan. Alright guys, are you ready for this? Let's do it in 3, 2, 1, done. Thank you so much for doing that guys, you are now part of the Pretzel Army. Okay guys, so before I start the routine, don't forget that I am giving away tons of fly and ride potions. And all you need to do to enter that giveaway is look for 3 emojis that will be appearing on the screen throughout this video and then comment which ones you see down below. Once you do that and with liking and subscribing, you win the draw to win. Alright guys, let's get straight into this routine. So right now, I'm on the Adopt Me homepage and like everybody when they join Adopt Me, you press the play button. But sometimes I don't do it this way. Sometimes I go into servers and go and click on Presley Official, like my server. Sometimes I go into my private server if I'm like filming or doing some stuff for filming. But guys, today I'm going to be showing you my normal routine and just public server routine so let's go let's press play and for some reason on my computer it makes me ask would you like to open roblox no i don't want to open roblox i only want to play the roblox game but i don't want to open it <laughs> guys i've got to click this extra box and then it starts to load so when we load into a dummy we always see this screen and legit i never read it never ever once i did an update video and i was meant to read it and by default, I just automatically clicked through and became a parent. And I'm like, no, I need to look back into the game and I need to re-see it. But guys, right now, what I do, I always press play. And I almost always go and be a parent. Sometimes I do be a baby if I want to make money. But I usually go as a parent. Then we wait for it to load. And then I come into my house. Usually it's my current house. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just do this stuff by default. Guys, um, well. Bedtime. So I usually close the previous screen and just ignore that and then it comes straight to my rewards because every day you get something for free and today I got 200 bucks which is awesome but then once I collect that I always go and click on the star button to see what I can collect and I can't actually claim anything today but I think tomorrow I'll be able to claim this trumpet which will be really cool and then I can just randomly go up to my friends and behind their heads just go <laughs> And then I usually look at what's coming up as well and also my login streak. Today I got 74 days so this is my 74th day of logging in. That's a lot of days. That's probably my record so far. Like, legit, 74 days. That's like three months. That's probably my record, guys. Without missing a single day, that's my longest record. And guys, also, I always go and I look at the golden egg. And I'm just like, I'll be able to get it soon. I'm not even halfway there, but I'll be able to get it one day. One day. <laughs> Bedtime. So then I close that off and I usually load straight into this house. So this is my grinding house. This is where I make all the money. And guys, also, there's that mural. I say this every video, just please ignore it. I know it's creepy, I know it's weird. I was bored one day and I decided to make that. But guys, while we're here, do you think it looks decent? Like, it looks the same, I know? Hashtag nice face down in the comments below if you guys like it. But I don't usually look at that. I usually go and I come straight into making money. But first, before I do anything, I always pull out my trusty friend, Starburst. And she gets me around, I level her up, because one day, you will be a Mega Neon. That's my goal, to make Starburst a Mega Neon. That would be so awesome. Or should I just let her be a Neon? Like, guys, let me know down in the comments below, because it would be cool to have a Mega Neon uni, but also, having Starburst as a Neon, that, she's like our mascot for the Pretzel Army. So let me know down in the comments below, Mega Neon Starburst or just Neon Starburst? So next up, I go and I teleport to gifts once I get into my house, because I never really walk out of my house and walk all the way to the main center, I always go and teleport to gifts because that's like the easiest way to get around the map. So now, if it would let me in, come on. <laughs> Bedtime. So once I'm loaded in, I always just take a look at the trading, see what people are trading, see if anybody's trading. I take a look at what server it is, I see what pets people have out, just different things around. And this person's got a really cool frisbee that I've never seen before in the game. It's like a Christmas wreath. And then I just take a look at the pets, see if anybody has like some really cool pets like parrots or giraffes. But I've got nothing good to trade for them. Except for Starburst, but Starburst is not for trade. So if it's a good server, I usually do some trading. But if it's not, I head straight over to the potion shop. Because I need to go and I need to buy some fly or ride potions for giveaway winners. Because I friend all of the winners. And if you're a giveaway winner and I do give you your prize, I sadly have to unfriend you. Because I do have to go through heaps and heaps of winners. So I do need to free up all the space I've got in with my friends. Because you've only got a limited amount of friends you can have in Roblox. I don't mean to be mean, guys. But I do actually have to unfriend you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bedtime. So once we're in here guys, I usually go straight to the fly potions because they're like awesome and I buy a couple of these so I get them just so I can give them to giveaway winners and then I head over to the ride potions and buy a couple of those as well. Boop 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 boop. Okay. 
So then I leave those in my backpack, guys, and I head straight back over to the nursery. Once we're back in the main center, I check out the server again. It's still pretty empty here. There's a Megan on Robin, which is pretty cool. But guys, then I head straight into the nursery because I like to go and I like to have a look at the eggs. And because the dino egg is coming out really soon, I like to see if they went and changed it on the board. So, okay, they haven't put it on the board yet, but I feel like they will really, really soon. If I have enough money, I do go and buy one of these eggs and I hatch it. So what I do next, guys, is I go and buy whatever egg is in the gumball machine. So what I do, however many I can buy, I go and buy them because whatever egg is in here will be extremely rare once they're out of the game. <laughs> Bedtime. Whatever egg is in the gumball machine will eventually leave. So we know that the cracked egg, the pet egg, and the royal egg will stay forever in the game. Okay, so we've got 979 bucks at the moment, guys. Let's go and buy one. And then what I do, I go and hatch it. Mind blown. But sometimes I don't hatch them because I do like to stock up on them when they're unhatched because then you can trade them later for really, really valuable stuff. Because like I've told you in other money hack videos, the egg can actually get you a better trade than what you can actually hatch from the egg. So let's buy this one, guys, and should we hatch it or should we leave it? It just got a task the second we took it out. So is that a sign to hatch it? I don't know. Let's order hatch it, guys, and let's see what we get. Hatch now, and let's go buy now. And guys, what are we going to get? Let's hope it's the legendary hatched an egg out of an egg. Oh, guys! We got a koala! Um, I did not expect to get that. I thought I, I totally thought I would get a common or another common. I thought I would get a dingo. But guys, we actually got a koala, which is ultra rare. And it's ultra rare to get it. That's so cool, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Bedtime. Okay, so we've got Starburst out again. And what I do now is I go and do a tasks to try and get a, at least one level up or a couple of tasks up. Because leveling up a unicorn, it takes forever. But what I do first when I'm like making money is go over to the hospital to get some healing apples. So these are actually free, guys. And you use them when your pet gets stinky or when your pet feels unwell. So if we just take a bunch of these, they're looted for free. And they can heal your pet wherever you are across the whole of Adopt Me. So I usually head over to the school to do the tasks because there's so many things you can do at the school that actually do the tasks. For example, you can let your pet sleep, you can do the school task, and you can also let them eat and drink. So I usually put Starburst down to do some tasks, and then I head over to the teacher's desk in this room to get some free apples, because then I can go and I can take a bunch of these, and then whenever my pet is hungry, I can go and feed them to Starburst. So then I head back in and grab Starburst and put her onto the next task. So let's pick her up, and then we put her into bed. There we go. Oh, guys, take a look. We've run into a pretzel army member, and they're actually going to be the chef for when I open the free pet shop, so that's going to be awesome. So I'm just going to say hi. So this is someone who I friended, and they actually won a competition to be able to be the pretzel army chef, which is really, really cool. So this is something that I do when I open up the free pet shop. I let someone be the chef, and they can make the food, cook it, and have a good time serving it up to everybody. And they asked me, can you show me where I'll be in the shop? So I just said, yep. And let's go, and let's head straight over there. Okay, they said I'm excited. I'm excited too, guys. I can't wait to open up the pet shop again. Okay, so the chef just became a baby, and we picked them up. And now let's head outside and head all the way over to my house, where I can show him where he's going to be. So this is kind of a part of my routine. I don't always go and show chefs where they'll be in the shop. But I do always chat to the pretzel army members, help them out if they need help. And I just chat with you guys and have a good time. So we go and have fun, guys. We ride around on vehicles together, and we go and have a lot of fun. And we do, like, random stuff sometimes, like little challenges. But sometimes we just ride around have a chat but we always have an awesome time so guys this is my house let's quickly change it to the free pet shop and then i can show him where it's going to be so let's press go there we go <laughs> Bedtime. Okay, so this is the outside of the free pet shop, which is really awesome. And then when we head inside and go upstairs, I can show him where he's going to be. So once we load in. So this still needs some tweaking, guys. I've been playing around with it. But it will eventually be really, really awesome. So there are a few signs on the floor. I'm remodeling, guys. I'm fixing everything up. But guys, now let's show him the awesome chef area. Let's quickly go into edit house, though, and open up this little barrier. It's like a little door. There we go. And boop. Open up the gate. He says, awesome, guys. I'm going to jump up and down. This is really cool. We'll close the gate again. Boop. So that's the little chef's area, guys. And it's really, really awesome. We've also got a random disco ball here. I'm really not sure how that got there. But it's really, really cool. This is epic. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait until we open up the free pet shop again. Make sure that you guys are subscribed with notifications on so you guys know when that is. And also, go and join the Pretzel Army group. The link will be down in the description below. And then you guys can go and join the group and join me when I give out the free pets. And you'll also find Chef Kale Chip up here to serve you some free food. <laughs> Bedtime. Okay, so I've left Chef Kale Chip there to get familiar with this new kitchen. And now, guys, we need to continue with my routine. Okay, so next part of my routine, I usually come back to the main center and do some trading. So this guy, he says he's trading a cat for a dog. So let's go and trade him. And let's put in our dog if he wants a cat. Guys, I just said let's put in our dog if he wants a cat. Bedtime. 
Let's put in our dog, and then it'll give us the cat. But guys, let's go, and let's put some extra stuff in, because it seems like he's new. He's only got, like, a cat that he's trading. Let's go, and let's put, just put in a couple of random pets. And let's also go and put in a monkey pet, because I think it might be new, and he might not have a monkey pet. All right, guys, so let's accept this. And I don't really have a massive backpack, but I really like to give stuff to people who are new, or people who are a part of the pretzel army to give back to you, because you guys are the best army ever. You guys are awesome. Bedtime. Okay, guys, he left pretty quick. I think he kind of thinks that he scammed me. He said thank you, and then he bolted. But, guys, that doesn't matter because it's really cool. He didn't scare me. I just wanted to give him some awesome stuff for free. Oh, there he is. He's back. I think he's making a neon dog, which is really cool. I just gave him two dogs to help him out. So that's really awesome. So next part of my routine is I head back to my house and do some grinding. I usually grab a few devices for this, like my phone, my iPad, my laptop. But today, guys, I won't bore you with that because it's sometimes quite boring. But if you guys actually do want to see my filming routine, let me know down in the comments below because I could show you guys a full filming routine. Not just, like, in a dot me, but actually, like, setting up the camera, setting up the lights, getting my computer ready, that sort of stuff. So, like, all the background work, like getting my green screen stuff, you guys know that. You guys know all that sort of stuff, but I want to show you guys exactly what I do. So let me know down in the comments below, and by leaving a like, if you guys want to see me do a full routine of, like, everything I do when I set up for filming. The next part of my routine is I head back to the neighborhood and start grinding. And guys, a lot of you guys are asking me, what's grinding? What's your grinding house? It's the house where I make heaps of money in. And also, AFK means away from keyboard. So, like, you're not doing anything, and you've just walked away, and your keyboard, and you're just there, not doing anything. That's what AFK is. A lot of you guys have been asking me that in the comments. I just wanted to clear that up, and guys, now let's head upstairs and I'll show you inside of my grinding house and what like different things are. So guys, this is my setup. This is where I make heaps of money and level up my pets to make some awesome neons. And this is really cool. So I pretty much put one baby here, one pet there, one baby there, one pet here. And I do heaps and heaps of tasks and I make so much money to be able to buy stuff to give back to the pet salami. So the only tasks that I can't do when I'm in my grinding room are the orange tasks. And I can actually do one of the orange tasks in here. So, I, so when I'm doing a full grinding session, I don't need to leave this room. It's so awesome. It's a really fast way to make tons of bucks guys and by tons I mean tons of bucks. I think the most bucks I've ever made in a full grinding session like in one sitting is 40,000 and guys that is quite a lot of money. I had all of these full. I had all of those pets leveled up and guys I was sitting there all day. I didn't leave the seat. I think I went to the toilet a couple of times but guys I was just sitting there staring at the screen and I binge watch a lot of movies while I'm grinding as well and I made heaps of money. But making money it takes a long time. Spending money on the other hand I do that in a flash. When the eggs are 750 bucks, it's really easy to spend that money quick. Um, the Aussie eggs are leaving quite soon, guys, so I need to go. Bedtime. I need to do a massive grinding session to be able to make heaps of bucks to buy them. But guys, let me know down in the comments below what you want to see me do next. Don't forget that to enter the giveaway. All you need to do is join the Pretzel Army, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below your Roblox username and what emojis you saw. And guys, have the best day ever. I'll see you in the next one. Bedtime. Yeah.